This tutorial is going to take a brief look at how to record into Notation Composer if you don't play a keyboard. By far the most popular MIDI instrument is the uh, MIDI keyboard just because they're cheap, they're accurate, and they're a, um, they're just they're a lot less expensive than say like a guitar pickup um, or other MIDI modified instrument. So, how do you record into Composer if you don't play a keyboard? You can, if you can bang out the rhythms, you can record into Composer because the tools for changing the pitch make it very easy to first record the rhythms and then correct the pitches. And you can do this uh, for each staff, and then you can record multiple staves or multiple instruments. Um, and we'll take a quick look at that. I'm going to assume that you have already watched the or or already know how to record into Composer. If you haven't watched the other video and you're not sure, please do watch the tutorial on recording with the metronome and then come back to this one. Okay, so we have our staff set up. We have everything ready to record and what we're going to do, I'm going, all I'm going to do is hit one note but I'm going to make sure that I've got the correct rhythm for that. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so what we have here are the notes. It's just one, it, it's just the single note that we wanted to use, okay? Now, this is bass. We're going to do a quick thing here called, because that's actually the pitch range that we're going to want. And we're going to want to look at that as it will look for a bass player. So we're going to transpose it up one octave because that's what bass players are used to seeing. Okay, so it's we're going we, because we want to look at it in that pit particular pitch range. Now, as you can see here, there are some little differences between that one and this one. <coughs> what I wanted to record here was a simple bass um, pattern. Okay, now. Right now the key signature is in C, and if that's what I wanted to do, then I would probably start out with that first note on a C. That's typical, okay? So what I'm going to do, I select the note. Now, I hold the P key, slide it up till it's where I want it. Now that's a C. Beautiful thing is, you will see right down here, in the status bar what that note that is selected is the pitch of it it's a C3 okay now all I need to do to get to the next note you don't have to keep going back and forth between your mouse okay use your right arrow key to go there now hold your P key down again and your up arrow key Okay, I'm using the right arrow key to go between those notes. There's C. Okay. Now, this is actually the figure that I want. Right here. And that's actually what I want to repeat. Now, <coughs> you can continue to go through, use that right arrow key. P key, up arrow key. Now, what I did right there, that's page up. Takes it an octave up. Page down takes it an octave down. Okay. Page up. Okay, so now, if we play that, we're going to speed it up. I apologize for my video card. I'm multitasking between a few different things and making these videos, and it does affect some of the stuff here. So let's listen to it. Okay, over here. Now, here's another little cheater. 
this is a very cool edit feature. If you have something like a baseline like that, and you want to put it in for a boatload of measures, okay, or say you want to use the same figure and you just want to change the pitches, um, one thing that you can do really quickly, take your region, select, select that region, copy it. I'm using the control C keyboard combination to copy that to the clipboard. Now, select that entire staff. Go to Edit, Paste Special, and paste a repeated loop. Now, you'll see that that loop is now through the entire song. Very cool little feature. Now, you will also notice when I play, that first note's not sounding. Um, what I did, and this is a, a little hint here, the note <coughs> on, if we use the note piano roll to look, the note on, see that minus eight? I actually hit that note a little bit too soon before it started um, recording. Fortunately, there's a nice little thing. I should go back here. If I select that note, okay, I'm going to snap that to the, let's see, I'm going to snap it to the as notated, okay? And that makes it so that it's, see, it's at zero now, so it will perform properly. If the note on, if, if you hit the note too soon, it starts playing right here, but the note's over here, so it doesn't sound. Anyway, if that happens to you, that's how you fix it, okay? All right, so now we can, I'm going to hit the space bar to play. Now, here's another cool thing. You've got this figure, okay? You can select, mm -hmm. click, drag all those notes, and... Then you can change the figure or change the pitches, okay, all at once. So you're just shifting that whole figure down. Okay, let's go. We're going to start back up here. We're going to hold the P key, click there to change my position. Okay, so cool little editing thing there. Um, now, so say so you've got your bass line and you can you can go through the rest of your um to the, your, the rest of your line and adjust the pitches like I've shown you there. The keyboard shortcuts are quite quick. And then if you want to add more um instruments, you go to add a staff and then you can choose your other ones um that you want to do, okay? Um so that's just the quick and dirty method for recording without knowing how to play keyboard. You can do that for chords. Um, let's say we're going to add a staff. We want a, a chorus or something, okay? So what you can do here then is you can record. And we're just going to do a, a, what we call a, um, a three-note chord, okay? And all I'm going to do again is just the... Um, just the rhythms. I'm going to play the same three notes and you can do adjustments the same way. Ready? Okay, I hit space bar to stop it. So here we have our chord notes. Okay. Um, and again, you can do the same types of things. You can you can edit them individually. I'm going to hold the P and the arrow button. Okay, if you want a different interval or whatever, you can adjust them all together. Okay. Um, all kinds of wonderful things you can do there. Okay, so that's just the basic of <coughs> basics for recording into Composer if you don't know how to play keyboard. Enjoy!